if y'all like my hair my little hairdo this is one of my hacks when i'm not really feeling my length but i want to be natural if you want to know how i got that so i just washed my hair like two days ago but i wasn't really feeling it it's too much humidity so i had an idea I'm about to see what happens and see if it works. Stay tuned. You want to see what's happening. So when I'm not feeling my length, I will um, twist my hair in the front or just pull it back up in the front and do a half up, half down with my headband wig. In this case, I'm twisting the front. So I'm doing some little flat twists, a lot easier than braiding. So if you don't know how to braid, this is super simple. So I'm going to do that. Um, the hardest part is the parting. And honestly, I had my sister help me part my hair. After twisting them, I'm going to um, comb it out, let it get a little curly, and I'm going to secure it with a bobby pin. And I am just going to continue this process all over my head. I'm adding some water, some edge control, some leave-in conditioner for softness. The edge control is going to go out the root before I twist it, and it's just going to make sure that I don't have any fuzz during this process. I'm going to start flat twisting. This is much simpler to do than braiding. You can take your time, do it tight, and just add edge control as needed. It's just as good as a braid, and like I said, it is a lot easier. And I'm just going to secure it with the bobby pin at the tip. As I'm combing the edges out to make it curly, I don't know how it's going to look because at first I was just going to like let my hair be curly in the back before I figured out that I was going to add my headband wig. But going back to me not feeling my length, that wasn't going to work for me. So I'm just prepping for the headband wig. Securing my ends once again. I don't want to bore you guys with the whole process because it's all the same. So I'm going to jump to the last one. As you can see, I had twisted the ends because I didn't really feel it how it was coming out when I was combing it out. And because I wanted to blend it, the regular twists were going to be easier for me to blend. So I'm going to finish my twist and oil my scalp with my Mayel Rosemary Oil that's now like this huge thing that I've been using forever. Now that everything is done, I'm just going to do my little process. I curl my little sides. I kind of laid my baby hairs down, but like not for real, for real, because I'm about to put my scarf on and tie it down and go to bed and I'm going to get back to this tomorrow. So I got my twist done. And I untwisted the top because I didn't really like it. I mean, real well, life. So, my other hack that I do, like when I'm done with my hair, well, when I'm not feeling my length because I'm like, it feels a little ridiculous, is I'm gonna do a real girl, y'all. Ain't nobody gonna braid down all this hair. Like, I'm just not. Part it into two. out the way and I'm gonna put it in two braids they're not cute ain't nobody gonna see them because I'm gonna take my um, my headband wig I took the band off my headband wig and I wear my hair half up half down with it because it's just simple so I'm gonna keep that going And after I braid it, I just kind of like bobby pin it into place. It's going to be underneath that. These braids are far from cute. I'm not even going to turn around and show y'all because it's that rash. Bit. Like, it's kind of embarrassing. But what I am going to do for these right here is I'm just going to twist them up. like this same thing on this other side and actually now that everything is twisted up I'm putting a little ponytail this is the headband wig like this is the band right here this is the part that I'm using to connect to the ponytail so I should let it dry first I really should let it dry but whatever we're here now secure the comb right here in the front behind the braids and the rest I'm just going to 
secure down. Now, because it's made to go like up here, it's gonna be loose. So now that everything is kind of like secured up, I'm gonna take some bobby pins and make it tighter. Like I kind of folded it over. Depending on the size of the eye head, I got a small head. Do that to make that stick right there. Secure the rest of the combs, and I just kind of like to take bobby pins and underneath, just put them there because, like, the way my life is set up, if I don't do this, I'm gonna be somewhere and I'm gonna be embarrassed because it's gonna fall off my head. I don't need those issues in my life. So now, this part right here that's in the ponytail holder, I'm just gonna bring that forward. I'm gonna connect them to. So what I like to do is so I like to take them, both pieces, to bring them around to the back. And about to cut them down. And then I just bring it over. So I'm gonna go hit my baby hairs, I'm gonna get dressed, and then I'm gonna be back and show y'all like the full everything. Night, night. So I'm gonna go get it in. But this completes the look, you guys. If you like it, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. All these sound effects, I've been quiet all day. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If y'all like my hair, my little hairdo, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video. And with that said, I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah!